<clears throat> Hi guys, what we got here for you today is a universal GoPro 360 degree mount. It's 360 degrees. It works with any GoPro because all the mounts are the same. It's great for uh, changing camera angles while it's on the vehicle from a distance away or changing it without changing the mounts around. You can change the position. You can just plug it in, move it, unplug it, give it a go, do what you want. And uh, it's great for the Wi-Fi backpack too because you can just see where it's pointing the whole time. You can change it however you feel fit. And uh, we'll show you how we put it together and what we made it out of. What we got here is the bottom part of a remote control car where you put the batteries in. Uh, what we did was we took a Sawzall, cut it out the box, leave the bottom in, try not to ruin the wires. You will most likely. Uh, it takes four AA batteries. We zip tied them in, hold them in for extra durability. Take wires, solder them onto here so you have the power. The plug that you use, you can use almost anything. We just decided to use this. It's simple. It's what we had lying around. Comes into here. Now, you'll see we use parts off remote control car. We got right here the antenna receiver. This you'll find inside a remote control car also right next to it. So you take that out. You'll find the power wires. What we did was we soldered on another end of the cable that plugs in right here. I'll show you that later. Comes out of there, you find the wires that run into, you could use the steering box or you can go to any store, electronic store, and you can find any type of motor. This one's been modified so it can spin 360 degrees. Um, what you do is, we used Gorilla Glue. We found a couple pieces of plastic that would use as a bottom mount. We Gorilla Glued them together. And then on the top, what you get with the GoPro cameras, when they come in the box are these little clip mounts. What we did was we used the opposite, or we snapped these things off and glued it on the top of here so you can easily mount the top of the camera in there and still have plenty of space to spin. I'll quickly put it together for you guys so you can see everything. Gorilla glue works the best, plastic glue. Uh, we have had no problems with it breaking so far and it's been through some pretty rough situations. So you do make sure you have batteries in these. What will work for these, you know, just a typical remote control for the remote control car. Oh, on and off. Yeah, it's easy. I'll put it together for you guys real quick. Snap this onto here. So you guys, I'm just gonna use the plate that the camera comes with. Just snap it in just like that. The camera will go up, sit inside there, and you'll turn this on. And you can control it wherever you want it to point. Instead of having the just solid standard mount, you can now aim it anywhere you want it to go. 360 turning. With this remote, you want to find nice remotes like this. I think this, I'm not sure what the distance of this remote is, but what you can do is you can have it set where it just always turns, but you can adjust how like that, how fast it turns. Adjust it to not at all. And then you can do this where you can adjust the speed also. It's fully cranked right now, but you can adjust the speed on this one. These ones are the nice remotes, you want to find those. Just, it's always nice, well, you're always going to want, you're going to want a quick disconnect in here also, because otherwise your batteries will be dead. There's a video on here, we'll post a link to it, or we'll add some clips in here with it. Uh, what it is, is this, we had it mounted on our shark truck, you can see it, uh, shark truck lives. Uh, I sat in the passenger seat and held on tight to this, and sat there and just spun it in circles. And then that's one of our tougher ones that it's been through. It has been in a race car out on dirt. It survived that, but that video, it, the camera's coated, it was useless, so. Key, random video, now. 